welcome to the Valken Gear Guide. My name is Josh, and in this video we're going to talk about airsoft batteries, primarily the differences between them and their advantages. So let's start with the chemical composition. NIM, which stands for nickel metal hydride, is your most common airsoft battery. And the second is LiPo, which stands for lithium polymer. Nickel metal hydride is very stable, easy to charge, and has longer lifespans. Lithium polymer has higher capacity, high discharge rates. It also is lightweight and is available in many more configurations. Three of the configurations we offer are the brick PEQ, which is great for front hand guards and full size stocks in your airsoft rifles. The split configuration, also known as butterfly, is great for smaller hand guards and crane stocks. And finally, the stick configuration, which is also known as the buffer tube LiPo, are good for small compartments in this buffer tube as well as AK-47s. We offer two types of connectors on our batteries, the Mini Tamiya and the Deans. Deans is more commonly found on our LiPo batteries. When charging a LiPo, you want to make sure to only use a balancing charger as a safety precaution, also use a LiPo safety sack while charging. Never use a universal charger. To charge a nickel metal hydride battery, you may use a universal charger, plug in the battery, and wait for the indicator lights to go from red to green to indicate that your charging is complete. Now that your batteries are fully charged, you're ready to get out and go play. So get out there, be safe, and have fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media and you'll get the exclusives from Falcon Sports.